The song is called Kona by one Maris Kadi. And one thing about Maris Kadi, she is right here in studio with us. She's vibrant, very super, super, you know, vibrant and polite. Is that even the same? Doesn't even make sense to be in the same sentence. Yeah. She's vibrant yet very polite in the, at the same time. And of course, she is a recording and performing artist. She's a songwriter who comes from Nairobi, Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Maris Kadi. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Good to see you. You look nice. You too. You look beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, you look amazing. Thank Welcome you. to Bounce Nation. Thank you so much. I'm yeah. so Annie, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Thank real. you for making time to come through, obviously. Thank you. All right, so let's talk about Mary Skadi. You were born and raised in Nairobi, obviously. Starehe. Yes. Are you still representing Starehe? Uh Tulihama. Oh uh, <laughs> <So> <laughs> that's where I grew up. I move so I move with the mini nomad. nomad. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Shout out to a sort of a starehe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starehe ni roots ngapi? Oktoka tao. I can see Jui. See Jui, I have no idea. Oh, kumbuki. No, but it's so good. It's all love. Yeah. Thank you for making time to come through. So let's talk about uh, Mariska. You know, just you come to Nairobi, you have mm -hmm. an advantage of what's going on. You know, what when you are there is one Nairobi, let's move to Kemtan or Kuje. Don't you know from scratch? Do you think people from Nairobi have an upper hand, an advantage, right? Yeah, I mm -hmm. feel I feel people from Nairobi have an upper hand because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very sure like wasani wamekuja hapo anasema I've traveled from Sijibu Siabu Ngoma yeah, or where yeah. Ata kama si Nairobi, I mean, ata kama si ushago, mm -hmm. maybe they're from Nakuru, they feel like Nairobi has more opportunities or if yeah. you're maybe an artist or even business-wise, you feel like you have more opportunities up in, in Nairobi. In Nairobi. Than, yeah, so I feel like we have... Yeah, kind of most definitely. Mm -hmm. And of course, for Maris Kadi, maybe you can tell us a little bit about yourself for the people watching you for the first time so that they can just get acquainted with you. Um, Maris Kadi is an artist, singer, songwriter, student. I'm a sister, I'm mm. a daughter, <laughs> not a mom, though, not yet. Yeah. Um, yeah, basically, me na na kwa social na kila mtu. Mm -hmm. I'm very friendly, and uh, yeah, maybe we meet somewhere out there, you'll see me. Yeah. yeah, and she's also uh, you know, a gym enthusiast. Am I you, Elisha? No. I still <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I have a roller in the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was contemplating because you've exercised, your stomach is crying, like, for heaven's sake, give yeah, me a like break. Stop, yeah. Give me a break. But you look at it and you're like, at the end of the day, I love going to the gym and working out mm -hmm. in fact when i'm like down i use that as a way to boost my moods yeah yeah and kingsley can relate am i yet to theater then you work out you're talking about you to join when don't afford to join this is because why am i doing it now the last time we was like, bro, I 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 Right, all right, let's talk about your journey in music. How has that been? How long ago did you start? Um, my journey in music has been, I don't know, it's been quite not that long, Napier, not that short, because I officially started in 2017, mm -hmm. but in primary, that's when I started writing, like writing, actually. Yeah. But in 2017 is when I was like, eh, I can do this thing, you know. Mm -hmm. So, Nika. Kulikuana Hellmind Hellmind Entertainment. Yeah. That was the first studio I ever stepped in. No, the second actually. Uh -huh. Ju, I remember when I was in 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 primary, kuna studio flani palemta like nyumba mtu tunapiga kono naingia. So I used to hear people go there to me msani blah blah blah. And then I said one day let me go find out what what happens in there. Mm -hmm. So the first ever project I did was a spoken word. I can't oh. even remember the words to it, but <laughs> it was a spoken word. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I wrote a rap song for someone, but it was ilikuwa <laughs> ili so. Oh. And then, but it's since evolved. Umegu yeah, I've really it. evolved yeah. because back then ilikuwa ngani spoken word rap, mm -hmm. but then ilikuwa observe market na pia passion yangu was like no easy kitwenye si, si relate na yo. Yeah, yeah, si relate na yo. So I had to like shift from doing 
um, rap to doing like singing singing to now yeah. singing yeah. and of course you said you started writing when you are still like while you are still in primary school so you can write ngoma you can write poem what kind of writing were you doing <laughs> now uh, why did it take you too long like if you started back in primary school and you only recorded in 2017 when will it take time mingi vosana first of parents african parents oh you go to your dad or to your parents and be like uh dad nataka kuwa msani you know like first unaweza either tolewa hapo na slap nyingine moto sana or utatoka hapo na disappointment obviously yeah. so for me what happened ni i was just advised accordingly aliniambia mm-hmm. you're still young what you do right now focus on education first then maybe you'll do that later on right yeah, so i had to focus on academics kwanza nimalize and then mm-hmm. nikuje kufanya music i think that's why it took quite some time And academics we did quite a lot. We even <laughs> actually went to a French school. How did that go? Are you fluent right now in French? Mm, I'm st- I'm st- I'm still a student right now. Oh, you're still uh, yeah. Oh. I can have a conversation oh. but you can deep na potea. Yeah, tell people they are watching Bounce Nation. Um so they are watching Bounce Nation. You are watching No, 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 in French. Oh. Mais <laughs> non, vous êtes en train de regarder Bounce Nation. French. Yes. Na rangi kidogo. Eh. Ah, sasa kitoka au rangi na rangi na nini? Na uli. Initially mlikuwa mnafaa kuzaliwa France. Kama ni Paris ama ni France. So to to all my lawyers, mm-hmm. we are all French people. But mm. yeah. Wame na Faransa, labda wataelewa. <laughs> Nous sommes français. Ah. <laughs> I'm sure they've gotten that. All right, so in 2017 that's when you released your first track. How did that perform? Uh, no, uh, in 2017 is when I recorded my first serious track. Oh, okay. Then my first release, my first official release was in 2021. Yeah. Yeah, which was uh, Nalela. Yeah. Mm. But uh when I recorded in tw- in 2017, that's when I started recording. Now I remember back then Nadia Mukamindo alikuwa bado ako Helma and if you can remember she was yeah, still at Helma yeah, entertainment. Yeah, okay. So I used to look at her and be like oh my god um did you ever talk to her like uh, uh you inspire me or I would love to work with you. Yeah. Ama nile tuko na muona lakini uko tu uko you can't even talk to her. No actually Nadia is a very nice person we t- we talked sometime mm-hmm. I told her you really inspire me and she said keep pushing one day utafika. Yeah. And I really appreciate cuz you know as much as kuna challenges but you keep going yeah. so all the tracks i recorded in 2017 i lost them they were around 10 i was doing an ep mm-hmm. i wanted to do like a, a like more many projects and then i shoot videos and then takwa na release bila pressure mm-hmm. but that didn't go as planned so so how how did it happen like uh, the computer crashed ama yeah Oh. We tried to we tried to recover but it got overwritten so oh. maybe mki recover ni ka drum kamoja pale ka guitar <laughs> ka vocal kamoja so I was like this is a wastage of time so uh. yeah, just like you still have a lot of music in you yeah. most definitely all right so were you signed under Helmind am only kwa tu you just recording with them no man you come to mkono I used to I used to go at Helmind and msani akiwa na song and maybe they want to to have back back up vocals mm-hmm. i would be like ah see you let me let me i have something in my head kuna ka sauti kana nakasikia can yeah. can i do something on your song and they're like yeah okay and it turns out great and that's how i started so yeah, i was excited you though. did a lot of backup uh, for a lot yes. of singers who are some of the guys you worked with while you're doing um, you, while you are doing backup vocals Um I've worked with Mary J. I don't know if she's ever been here. Yeah, yeah. she she has she's ever been here. Yeah, Mary J has ever been here. I mean, <laughs> she's just ever been here. And then other artists I can't even remember their names because they mm-hmm. were quite a lot. And some I wouldn't meet them in person. So mm-hmm. it was just Oh, you got to go studio alafu. Eh, I'm a, I'm a producer na niambia kuna msanii hapa so I don't get to meet them in person. Like mm-hmm. kuna msanii hapa anataka kufanya ABCD and I'm like, "Okay, okay." Oh, so you do that on the track, not like for live music. 
it will be like in studio like you but i've done for live also oh, oh yeah there was an another event at alliance just recently mm-hmm. and i i also did that ah so. nice and of course that's uh, that's how you grow by you know being there for watching what other people are doing and then yeah. you you become better as a person yeah. of course and then kwanza after covid yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you took advantage covid dimesha kwa sema to rudit can be a studio yeah. before something else comes along Ama, so did you still record at hellmind ama yeah um nalela i recorded at hellmind mm-hmm. yeah and uh, mm-hmm. how did it perform being your first track did it change your perspective about the music industry in kenya um, how did that influence the other songs you've released um one thing i came to learn is growth is gradual unaweza mm-hmm. kuna expectations mingi then upate results kidogo or you have little expectations and then it surpass so for me nalila surpassed mm-hmm. because hakuna mtu alikuwa ananijua hakuna mtu alikuwa ananijua and the time i was releasing i didn't do like serious marketing as i as i, I would have wanted because i didn't do any media tours or anything whatsoever so it really just went out there because people believed in my talent mm-hmm. and the the, the support lane me kwa too amazing any from them so right so that inspired you to write now kona kona ah kona and kona is doing amazing so tell us about that uh, what, uh, what was the inspiration behind it kona ni about e era ya sai ya masponyo so like you can find you are in a relationship with someone but they have their other someone who's <laughs> funding them to <laughs> who's funding them to maybe look mm. or have the life they have so in a, in a in a clash between money and love yeah so mimi nasema have you experienced it uh, first hand ushaona have you ever seen that like close to you people do that what unajua personally actually f- for me i write out of things i see yeah. around me or happening to me so i collect that and try to tell people's stories so hiyo ni kitu ni money ki happen hadi mna nasema sasa mimi nitafanyaje shwali na this person you can clearly see they love they they love each other but the money factor yeah in aribu kila kitu yeah <laughs> so wewe unasema so utaki to was china ama wanaume watafute wa babas na wa mamas you against that you are pro love <laughs> yeah i'm um, like i i really advocate for love like <laughs> Love wins at the end of the day. Love wins, of course, most definitely. All right, so after corner, do you have any other projects that we should look forward to? Anyone you are looking to work with, or maybe you've already worked with them? Um in the EP, by the way, tell us about the EP. Ile EP lipotea, you're still working on it. Do you have another one coming? Um from the EP, there are some songs I've selected that I would want to rewrite mm-hmm. and restructure and give yeah. it because you know, like song Landika 2017 kuna maybe vocabularies or things have changed you know yeah. so i would like to give it a test nikiona vibe ikuji i say bye bye <laughs> ikuevo eh. ah. but uh, i'm 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 really like hoping things work well and then if i can revive it cuz ilikuwa na project zingine kali sana yeah mm. All right and of course we wish you all all the best. Yeah, best you. of luck in that. Now before we let you go, we have just a little bit of let me on get story the French. Mm-hmm. So we have the accent cha- accents challenge. Uh-huh. Uh, so basically we give you a scenario uh-huh. and then you act it out. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's, easy. it's not hard. Okay. So tutazana tuseme okay number 1. Tunza tuna Luya vile umesema Luya ameko kwa restaurant na amepa ugali kidogo. Wait, wait, <laughs> ask how you feel when you go to restaurant. What's your reaction? Na mbe we we dress eh? Eh. We dress mimi ni mlu ya. Mbona unanipatia ukali kidogo? Siwezi kula ni shipe. Eh. Una una unaleta mrenda na ukali kubwa, si ukali ndogo. Mimi siwezi shipa mimi ni mlu ya tumezaliwa tukikula. Eh. Niliza nianza nilianza kukula ukali nikiwa one month no two days old tata nakumbuka mamangu akinipatia ukali nilirarua vibaya sana hey. sasa unaleta ukali ndogo unataka kutetemesha madumbo na dumbo iko nja ugali na fauti kubwa sio hiyo ugali sio hiyo ugali kubwa sasa ni ndogo leta ukali kubwa leta na sufuria yote uwekelea hapa kill it okay scenario number two mkisi akiwa okay ukiona okay, sasa mkisi machine hang 
machine hang. Yeah, okay. Well, well, no, you are serving. See, well, say me, like, maybe like let's say you are a receptionist. Kuna kitu na mwanga lili, ama you are serving. Maybe you are teller at the bank. Na machine me hang. Na miss mama for long. Ejo kisi na mamiri na patients. Yeah, so I'm I'm the kisi. Yeah, when you kisi, machine me hang. Don't go na serving. Se sao sapralo. Accent me poja kwa kichoke. Raki. Raki on god. My god. Na uwezi ongea pole pole lazima ushe. Lazima ni kimbi. Siwezi ongea kama mkisi. Nikijaribu si nitakuwa kama wao. Stay ongea pole pole. Tuachane nayo, tuachane nayo. Acha nijaribu kidogo. Aha. Lakini nimewacha masihwa kwa nyumba. Unakucha hapa unaniwestia time. Mbona unaniwestia time? Nimekucha hapa nimewest time alafu unaniambia mashini imehang. Si uchukue utengeneze. Shita yako ni gani? Nice. All right. Last one. The very last one. Unachukua kale na Mursik. Ametoka kazi after a long day amefika kwa nyumba Mursik imeisha na hapo anajua. Nayo go you are them kale now. Eh wakale wakale ni kwa sasa ndio kichwa kwenu. Anza na my friend. My friend. My friend. My friend uh my friend Chabet. Mimi nimekuwa utengeneze masiwa uchakamua ngombe. Uchakamua ngombe mimi nakuta na na ngocha mursik utaleta mursik. Unataka nitwange wewe poko. Pata kukimbia How many kilometers? 30 kilometers In the marathon, in the In the coming, in the going He really tried He really tried the acting challenge I know, it's not easy But you made it fine Thank you, thank you so much for coming through And of course, kabla uende Lazima tupati platform Tume salamu Kwa maybe the one or two people And then of course your social media handles Um, walue na salamu lazima <laughs> um, first of my crew ya Alliance Francais shout out to you guys I love you so much um, Dr. Rick, uh, Dr. Director Rickster <laughs> Director Rickster shout out to you man I really respect you uh, Vince on the beat, DJ Stone Fab Mimi na kusalute sana uh, my sister, my mom I know you're watching right now, my bro Um, my friends, Malin and everyone, Harvey, Pia, shout out to you and uh, all my fans, I want to tell you that I love you so much. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. I don't take it for granted and I really make sure that now I party have moto moto, you know? Yeah. Vile <laughs> inafa. Mm. hot like a Hot like a Thank you. Thank you so much for yeah. coming through. And of course, and we'll be playing more music as you release it. We'll play it right here on Bounce Nation. Mm -hmm. And I think to watch it na wewe so can see uh on ni Mr. How social media handles yeah. very, very important. Mm -hmm. On on all socials, YouTube Maris Kadi, Instagram Maris Kadi, Twitter Maris Kadi, TikTok Maris Kadi, Facebook Maris Kadi, na inaandikwa M A double R I I double R I S double r i s yes k a d i make sure you go check me out leave comments you know let's interact you know to joanne you know with joy okay yeah